Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we are making the Martinets. Don't know why I say we because I'm making it and you guys are just watching and I'll consume it for you. How's that sound? So the Martinez has been around since the 1880s and a lot of people say that it was the precursor to the Martini. It originally called for a Dutch Geneva before changing to an Old Tom Gin and then more commonly these days it's often made with a dry gin uh, such as beef eater. Back in the day it called for both sweet vermouth and dry vermouth and it was more of a vermouth forward cocktail whereas these days it calls for either equal portions of gin and vermouth or it's a more gin heavy cocktail. Today I'm going to use a recipe that calls for equal parts of both gin and sweet vermouth. The reason being is I want to showcase the uh, sweet component because Nico, Dr. Cocktail, has challenged me to make a China Martinez, so a bit of a variation. So today I'll actually be making three different Martinez recipes and do a tasting side by side and see how they stack up against each other. So head over to Nico's channel. I, I hope it's Nico, Nico or Nico, I'm not, not sure, sorry guys. Um, if you head over to his channel, he first started uploading about a year ago and he uploaded a handful of videos, but more recently in the last three months, he's been uploading quite regularly. So I'll leave a link to his channel in the description as well as up here so you can have a look and suss out his videos. So for now, I'll put the china aside and I'll measure each cocktail so that I can stir them all at once and do the comparison while they're all freshly strained, freshly made. So Martinez with equal parts of the gin and sweet vermouth component. So I'm measuring 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of a dry style gin. And the dry style gin probably works better when I'm doing these equal parts, because otherwise if I use the old Tom gin, it would be a lot sweeter and therefore probably an incredibly sweet cocktail considering we're using sweet vermouth and a liqueur as well. So 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of sweet vermouth. This is Adelaide Hills Distillery Sweet Vermouth, a Torino style vermouth, but it is made locally. And then this calls for 10 mil of dry curacao, third of an ounce, and two dashes of Angostura bitters. So the original Martinez recipe called for the orange curacao. Now the next one we'll make with just a very subtle tweak. So we'll call for the same measurements of gin and sweet vermouth. And the only change we're going to make in this second one is 10 mil of maraschino or maraschino, how would you like to pronounce it? One third of an ounce. And same with the two dashes of bitters. So on to the third variation, which is Dr. Cocktail's challenge of making Martinez with China. So I'm using the same proportions so I can do a one-to-one -one comparison. So 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of gin dry gin and 45 mil 1.5 ounces of china nico nico i actually quite like the way how you actually pronounce china i think it's more cena it's probably the correct way to pronounce it everyone's always pulling me up for how not to pronounce things and then we've got 10 mil one third of an ounce of Luxado Maraschino. And then two dashes of Angostura bitters. And then you have three cocktails ready to go. So fill your mixing glasses with ice. And give it a stir for about 30, 40 seconds. Just to recap, the key differences being this is made with dry curacao. This is made with Luxado Maraschino. And this is made with Luxardo Maraschino, but with China in place of sweet vermouth. Sounds a little bit confusing. All the details are in the description below. I 
This one's noisy. What? And for those that aren't familiar with uh, Chino, it's a bitter Italian herbal liqueur uh, made from artichokes as well as a lot of other herbs and spices. Straight into those chilled glasses and garnish with a twist of lemon. And garnish with a maraschino cherry. Oh, you licked it. That's gross. So first, the Martinez utilizing the orange curacao. It's quite potent, <laughs> very potent. Uh, I know the beef eater is 40% and likewise for the orange curacao. Uh, it's not as sweet as I was expecting. I think a lot of the, the dryness comes from both the gin and the, the curacao. Get notes of uh, citrus and spice on it. Bit of citrus coming through. And then the Martinez with Luxardo. A lot sweeter, you get those cherry notes coming through. This is actually more familiar to me. I haven't tried it with Curacao. So that kind of brings back memories of the, the first time I had a Martinez. I think that's got a little bit more, more pop and that um, maraschino really brings it home. And there you have the Chino and Martinez. Cheers, Dr. Cocktail. Ooh, I really like this one. Kind of dry, you get a, a few vegetal notes coming through from the Chino and a lingering, lingering bitterness. That's got more complex flavors. This is a little bit sweeter, this one. It's definitely between these two, my personal favorite. It's hard to choose. Dry and citrusy. Definitely got some more like, not a strong cherry flavor, but it just brings a bit of a vibrancy, a little bit tart. The Chino kind of hides the Luxardo Maraschino, but not in a bad way. It, it complements it, they work well together, kind of balances it out a little bit where there's just a little bit more, more forward on the Maraschino. I have to admit, the Chino Martinez is possibly my favorite of these three. Thank you very much for the suggestion. As always guys, if you suggest any cocktails in the comments below, I will add them to the list. It might, may take me a while to get to them because the list is growing every single day. So I had a question from Joseph Lee who recently commented on one of my videos and he was asking what a decent substitution would be for Verna. For those who aren't familiar, it's a bitter Italian liqueur and it's got spices uh, like pie spices and notes of raisins to it. It sits at about 29% and probably the closest thing uh, is Ramazzotti, a uh, similar flavor profile, also sits at 30% uh, and it's a, also a bitter Italian liqueur. But if you don't have access to Averna, then you might not possibly have access to Ramazzotti uh, either. So hopefully that answers your question. Not very helpful, I know. But for you guys that uh, are familiar with Averna and you want to check out a cocktail, then I'd probably recommend checking out the Black Manhattan. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.